All right, so here's uh, an area just across the street from me, and this is some of the woods that I'll go down in and uh, and play around in. But right off the bat, here's here's your cottonwood, Zach. Um, had somebody say they they've had a hard time identifying what cottonwoods look like. Uh, this is a clear example of one. You've got big heart-shaped leaves like this, and on the back side of them they kind of have a, a silvery color and if you look at them compared to other trees so like you have this tree here they're a much lighter shade of green uh, cottonwoods kind of stand out it's a different shade of green and if you look at the leaves see how they wave they go like this because they're bigger here than what they are at the top and so they'll they'll wave back and forth at you um, they normally grow pretty tall uh, here's a piece right here that's broken that you could probably use for a, a, a bow drill, but they grow pretty tall. They grow really fast. This tree, the top of it is all the way up here, and last year it only stood about this tall. So, um, try to get you a close-up on the, uh, the way the bark looks. It's lighter in color. And you can hear it when the wind blows. It's kind of a loud tree when it, when it rustles. Um, so that, that's a really good candidate for uh, a soft wood, uh, spoon carving, bowl carving, um, that kind of stuff. So here's what cottonwood leaves look like. Now I've walked a little bit further down and we have another good bow drill candidate, uh, not for me, it's not as favorable as cottonwood, but it is willow. Now, the thing that willow and cottonwood both share in common is, uh, here's willow. Hey. hey. Is, uh, both of willows and cottonwoods are both water source indicators so um in fact if you look right back behind here there is a cottonwood right there and this is a there's a small one right there that's bent over so they're both water source indicators um and if you look down here there's water down there so they normally grow in low-lying areas they kind of share their space uh, in the sense that you'll normally find one with the other, uh, at least here in Texas. And uh, just kind of go to your lower lying areas. A lot of times you'll find uh, cottonwood saplings in ditches. Um, and I, I, most of the time I see the cottonwood saplings before the willows uh, in a certain area. Like it, it kind of seems like the cottonwoods find it first. But um, there's two really good trees, man. And look into your willows. Willows have a lot of medicinal purposes. 